I'm Air Chief Marshal Mark Minskin, retired, sort of, but I'm an re active reservist in 100 Squadron and I have the privilege of flying the Canberra Bomber. So the aircraft hadn't flown for about 12 years uh, when it was a part of the Tamora fleet and the team looked at what needed to happen to bring it back to be able to, to fly it for the Centenary Air Show and unfortunately the timing didn't quite work out for that with COVID and the, the like. But they did all the maintenance requirements, all the non-destructive testing, they had the thing pulled apart, engine servicings. And then with about a year to go, year and a half to go, Air Force uh, said, can we look at putting electric starter motors on the engines? And that was a, a big challenge, but the team had a good look at it. And so they took the starter motors off an Avon engine in a uh, Comet engine and uh, retrofitted it to this. And then. Where do you put the battery packs to drive the uh, electric starters? Well, a bomber has a bomb bay. And so in the bomb bay, there's five batteries in series that provide the power to start the aircraft. And then they provide me emergency backup power in flight if I uh, ever need it. So the team did a great job doing everything required to get it back to the condition that it is today. And then we did a, a conversion, myself and Flight Lieutenant Crab uh, had a good look at uh, flying the aircraft. We fly it single seat. Not, uh, not with the crew, so that, that comes with a few differences. Went out and did all the normal conversion parts over about five flights and then uh, started to display the aircraft and privileged to bring it down on Thursday to, to do the displays down here. I mean, it's a little bit of history, this aircraft. It, this aircraft in particular didn't fly in RAAF service, but it had a proud RAF uh, history. But we wanted to paint it up in two squadron colours and honour two squadron and their dedication, their service in Vietnam. And the number of vets that I speak to that were either in the Army or in the Air Force in Vietnam that remember the Canberra and want to talk about the Canberra and want to talk about their experiences, I learn a lot. Every time I come to a show or I, I go and talk to veterans groups about flying it, uh, I learn a lot of stories from them about how they felt well supported by the Canberra in Vietnam and uh, how much of a life of their lives it was. My whole background is uh, A4s, Mirage, F18, F16, so fighter, fighter background. And people say, what's it like to get into a bomber? Well, it's actually quite fun. Um, it's not as manoeuvrable, but it's got a lot of power. We fly it at a, at a lighter weight than, it, uh, than its normal max takeoff weight. And so it's got plenty of performance. There's a couple of vices for those aerodynamic and uh, and pilots out there, aerodynamics and pilots out there in the respect that its single engine control speed is a little bit faster than what we lift off. So you, you've got to manage your emergency brief and how you fly the aircraft and the techniques a little bit. But it's a beautiful aeroplane to fly in. 250 to 300 knots when you fly around, it is very nice. Low level when you start to open it up and go faster than that. It's sort of like a Harley Davidson. You want to have it pointed in the right direction before you power it up because that's where you're going to go. But it's a nice aeroplane, it really is a beautiful aeroplane to fly.